Good day, my fine feathered YouTube viewers. Thanks for joining me here. Before we get into the main uh, video today, I just got a little clip here I want to share with you. And uh, unlike my other videos, I will not be partaking in any alcoholic beverages today. But I do have this lovely green Jagemeister bottle here to show you. And this is just a little half pint. Goes for about ten bucks. That's your normal price for these size bottles. Got some lovely embossing on the back side there, like a deer head and a cross there. And this is actually a liqueur. And it is 35%. And it's a lovely uh, sort of root beer slash uh, black licorice flavor and smell to it. So if you like that, try it out. I'm sure you'll be quite happy with it. Good day folks, thanks for joining me here. We're, I'm heading out today and I'll check out a couple spots. Not sure if I'm going to get any digging in or not. Uh, depends on what the sites turn out to look like I guess. So This might just be exploring, might be a digging video. Not really sure <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> but it's fairly early in the morning. 947, the wind is blowing hard. We had quite a rainstorm last night. The snow's all gone off the ground. And uh, it should be favorable ground conditions for digging if I happen to find anything. All right, so I'll get you back up once we get to the the locations and uh, get into the woods. Over and out. Okay, so I'm at one spot here, folks. I seen this big open area off the side of the highway on Google Maps, so I thought I'd come check it out. There just seems to be a mound like where they were working on the uh, highway when they're putting it through. Like gravel piles and rock piles and stuff. But right on the corner of the lot is this old road heading down into the woods here. Let's just get a turn around here. Highway's out that way, running that way. And uh, here's this old road running down into the woods. So I'm going to head down and through here and see if there's anything interesting along the way. If I find anything, I'll get you up. If not, I'll see you at the next site. So out here in the woods, searching around folks, seeing this old barrel. You can check that out. And right up, not far from it, is this pile of tin cans and some metal here. So I thought I'd get you up before I start scraping around in it, just in case there is there's some glass there. I'll see. Okay, it's not looking to be real old. 40s, 50s, or 60s even, maybe. Alright. So I've been picking around on this rock property line, folks. Scraping and digging. They often find things on these property lines. There's some barrel rings up there. A couple jars. Some metal debris down through here. See, there's some mason jars there, but nothing real old. That uh, wash basin there actually drew my attention to the wall here. And then uh, right down here, that would have been nice. Nice colored insulator, but it's broke. And I scraped up some crock pieces. Nice handle piece there. Too bad it's all broke. I'm going to get off this property line, folks. Head back to the vehicle. Probably take me half an hour to trek through the woods. Uh, but anyways, we'll hit another spot and pick it up from there. Well, here's a fairly random find in the woods here, folks. I've already picked it up, checked it out, and wiped some of the debris off it. It's a, like a medium-sized rodent live trap. It can also be used, I suppose, for cats or something like that. You never know when you might need something like that around this area. I think I'll hang on to that 
Okay, over and over. And then secondly, since I had such a great response to my uh, thumbs up challenge in my previous video where I uh, drank the five back-to-back -back shots of rum, I, it gave me an idea for my next video if I can get, we'll say, 80 thumbs up on this current video, I will stick my fingers in this Tomcat mousetrap and I'll take them right out of the fresh package there. Well, this is, uh, we got a diversity uh, uh, <laughs> demonstration here. So let's check it out. This is about the same size as a finger. And let's see how that works. Okay, so as you can see, that's about halfway through that carrot. Uh, all right, let's uh, reset that. Okay, and uh, we'll give it another shot here with this one. And yeah, it's about the same with that one. Whew. Okay, so like I say, if I get 80 thumbs up on this one, 80 or more, I will uh, stick my fingers in that for your entertainment and enjoyment in the next digging video. So remember, Give a thumbs up on this one, folks, even if you just want to see me do that. <laughs> yeah, that tastes pretty good. Okay, now, on to the current video. Got a couple interesting shards here, folks. Check that out. Some sort of root beer mix. Bottle mix five gallons, manufactured by something Davis Brooks and Company. See that says uh, Detroit, Michigan. And there's this one here as well. Come out. It's like Albany, New York. Not sure what else would have been on it, but. Some sort of soda bottle or beer bottle. It's kind of cool. Alright, keep going. I think I got a couple things here, folks, to show. This is just a sarsaparilla shard, which is kind of cool. I might actually keep that. Looks like it might have said celery compound. Nice, uh, aqua blue color. Go good in the shards box. But I see something right in here underneath this root. You see that right there? That looks like a clay pipe. Oh, no it isn't. Just a piece of uh, some sort of handle off something. But oh well. Had this big uh, chunk of clay and rock cave in, folks. And I got a little amber in there, and it looks to be the same shape and size of a uh, uh, poison iodine bottle. Well, it is, but I don't see any embossing on it. No, exact same. Uh, Shape and size, though, I would say. Oh, that's too bad. A little poison bottle would have been nice to have. Okay, I got another one I just scraped it away in the back of the ash layer there, folks. You can see it. Sort of a triangular shape. I'll pull it out nice and easy. Base embossed Alpha Food Company. Big old cork top. Um, 
I can't tell. I think it might be blown. I don't know. Keeper though, maybe it'll be manganese glass. Doesn't look like it from here, but it might be. Alright, let's keep going. I think a little clay or stoneware lid just rolled out there, folks. Let's see if we can reach it from here. Yeah. You can see it is chipped right there. Pretty fragile. It's quite thin. I'm going to keep it anyways. Um, yeah, I've never found one quite like that before. That's tiny and thin. All right, let's keep going. Okay, folks, my plan here was to get in behind this big old stump to where it probably wasn't dug. I'm right down into the ash layer here now. And, uh, seems to be going pretty good. I got a bottle in there, I see. It looks whole, but it's melted. <laughs> so, I'm going to see if I can get it out just the same and have a look at it. There it is. That's uh, just a slicker. Pretty neat though. Alright, well, let's keep going. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, looks like I got another bottle in here. I just peeled that bucket up as far as I can get it. And lo and behold, there's a bottle underneath it right there. Um, I might have to go in after it. Bear with me. Right in there. Got it. Oh, just another big slicker. That is a big one though. Not embossed. Looks to be blown with a tool lip. Might be a keeper. Might be manganese glass. I don't know. Anyways, gotta keep digging.